but uh, she heard that um, fasting of Ashura is to be a day before or a day after so that the, we would be different to the Jews. And what she said is correct in regards of the day before because the Prophet والسلام, as we learned earlier that when he came to Medina in the first year of Hijrah, Ashura was mandated and then it was abrogated and became Sunnah. So he continued to fast Ashura until the last year where he lived in that, and, and uh, until he died on the 11th year of Hijrah. He said that on that year, if I live next year, the 12th year of Hijrah, I will fast the 9th. This means that he used to fast only the 10th. But after eight years, he wanted to go against the Jews. And there are so many things in Islam that we are ordered to go against the Jews and the Christians and the rest of the disbelievers to have our own identity. Among them is this. But he died, alayhi salatu So now it is the recommendation that people fast uh, the 9th and the 10th. The hadith of fasting the 11th as well is da'if. It's not authentic. So there are three grades of fasting, as scholars say. Either you fast the full three days, and fasting of Muharram is highly recommended, or you fast the 9th and the 10th, or the 10th and the 11th. Or the third uh, uh, situation is to isolate the 10th by fasting and this is permissible without any problem inshallah. Agha from